Thanksgiving Day, a time to reflect with family and friends and give thanks for all that you have. For Lumpkin County High School, today is no different. We have a lot to be thankful for. I'm, I'm grateful and thankful for, you know, my family, of course. I am grateful for my family and our hometown community. I'm thankful for the organization that we have as Lumpkin County High School. And Coach, what are you thankful for? Thankful to be practicing. We're not walking. You've got to be elite to be practicing on Thanksgiving, um, and, and we feel like we got an elite football team. Uh, you know, we told them we've got to handle some business out here today on the practice field, but we also have to celebrate uh, because if you're getting to practice on Thanksgiving, you got reason to celebrate. And Lumpkin County surely has reason to celebrate this year, accomplishing a lot of firsts for small town Dahlonega, Georgia, including its first undefeated season and the school's first playoff victory in the program's 62-year history leading the Indians to a quarterfinal showdown with Savannah Christian on Friday. I mean, be out here on Thanksgiving morning. I mean, are you kidding me? Four years ago, this senior class was 0-10. And, and to be where we're at right now and to play Savannah Christian and just to be blessed to be here, you know, we're very grateful. Here we go, kick off! Yeah, you heard that right. Four years ago, Lumpkin County was 0-10. In fact, over the past two years, the Indians have as many wins as they had in the prior nine seasons combined. I mean, it, it's unbelievable, really. I, I mean, if you would have told me back in my freshman year that we would have gone, you know, 12 and 0 and still going my senior year, I might have even called you crazy. So what changed? The introduction of Heath Webb. Two years ago, and we hired Heath Webb, and his first parent meeting, he said, "We're going to win now." And, and everybody in the room kind of shuddered and went, you know, we've never won here. 11 winning seasons in the history of the school. And this gentleman stands up there and the kids have bought into his motto, which is hard work pays off. And guess what? Hard work has paid off for him and what he's done for this community. It, you, you can't replace that. You see signs on the roads on like, like home, home game Friday night, people putting signs out and just a lot of support from the community. And it's been, it's been really great. You know, we, we're, we're a town in Georgia, so we want to be good at football. The players are the key, though. They're, they're the ones that bought into a new way of doing things. Uh, our mantra is hard work pays off. Uh, we're not always the most talented team, uh, but nobody's going to play harder than us. And though the hard work is still going, as Lumpkin County looks to advance through the playoffs, this season and this moment are worth being thankful for. This is going to be something they'll remember the rest of their lives. I mean, this is something they're going to remember at the Thanksgiving table 50 years from now. Remember when? You know, and that's something that I think you can't replace. In Dahlonega, Georgia, Victor Prieto, Fox 5 Sports.